वेलकम स्टूडेंट माइ सेल्फ मौशमी दत् टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट वन पॉइंट थ्री पोएम द पिलग्रीन योर वी आर गोइंग टू डू फुल एक्सप्लेनेशन एंड नोट्स ऑफ द पोएम सो लेट्स बिगिन लेट इज अंडरस्टैंड द मीनिंग ऑफ पिलग्रीन दैट इज पिलग्रीन मीन्स वेर अ पर्सन गोज टू अ रेलीजियस प्लेसेस डिफरेंट रेलीजियस प्लेसेस टू एक्सप्लोर मोर नॉलेज अबाउट दैट प्लेसेस ओके अंडरस्टूड okay so here the poem says the pilgrim a pilgrim going a lone highway came at evening cold and gray to a chasm deep and vast and wide the old man crossed in the twilight dim the chasm held no fear for him here the paragraph says is that the pilgrim is an old old man who has completed his journey in a lone highway okay he manages to cross the deep ravine fearlessly late in the evening but once he crosses the chasm to the other side he stops his journey to the midway and he takes the effort to build a bridge to cross it so that others can cross it but he paused when he reached the other side and built a bridge to span the tide just now i explained you the meaning that he takes the effort to build a bridge across it old man said a fellow pilgrim near why waste your time in building here your journey ends with the close of day you never again will pass this way you have crossed the chasm deep and wide why build ye here at even tide here the paraphrase is saying when a pil- fellow pilgrim watches this he asks the old man means a person is asking to a old man the reason as to why he is wasting time building the bridge when he has already crossed it even though the old man knows that he himself will never ever have a chance to cross that bridge so this was the old man's query uh, the young man's query which he wanted to ask to a old man clear your children fellow means a person in the same position involved in the same activity next is even tide means evening and y e a is you that is up next paragraph the pilgrim raised his old gray head my friend in the path i have come he said they are following after me today a fair headed youth who must pass this way the chasm which held no fear for me to a fair headed you may a pitfall be yet the paraphrase is explaining the old wise man explains that though he has crossed the chasm he is concerned about the young inexperienced travel who might pass this chasm after him so for them he adds that he is building a bridge for them so that the young men might avoid the travel or trouble of crossing the chasm after sunset he too must cross in a twilight dim my friend i am building this bridge for him here the old man is saying the same thing he is putting this effort so that the other young people who are coming should not uh, fall in the trouble in the of this chasm because of this chasm okay here the conclusion is what you know the poem signifies that the experienced people should make roads and pathway easier for the young people who follows The poem gives a powerful message of inculcating the ideals of generosity and kindness in oneself. Okay? Let us start with English workshop. That is pick out the word from the poem to fill in the web diagram. According to travel we can get journey alone highway cold and grey. Next is time around sunset. What is the time around sunset is even tide, twilight, close of the day. evening so these all times we can say next is the entire poem is metamorphical because the master columns which they have given we have to set according to a and b so here they have given pilgrim which answer would be dutiful man journey life evening or close of day will be old age chasm deep and wide threat to life building a bridge is solving a problem pitfall is trap close of the day is death Okay. Next is read the poem and write three qualities of each of the following. That is, the old pilgrim could be thoughtful, selfless, responsible. Fellow pilgrim could be curious, self-centered, practical. Young pilgrim would be inexperienced, fair-headed, youthful. Okay. 
answer in your own word why did the old man have no need to build a bridge across the chasm the old man has already crossed the chasm and will never pass that way again so he has no need to build a bridge next what explanation did he give to the fellow pilgrim for his thoughtful deeds the pilgrim explained to the fellow pilgrim that a young man would follow him the chasm which held no fear for him could be a trap and unsuspe unsuspected danger for young men who will be trying to cross the road what message does the poem convey to all of us the message conveyed through the poem is that in our journey of life we should be selfless action we should do selfless action which may not benefit us but may benefit humanity at large such a great message the lesson has given the poem has given next is the rhyming word first stanza rhyming words are way gray white side tight dim him and the rhyming scheme of it is a a b c c b b second stanza is near here second stanza is near here day way white tight here the rhyming scheme is a a b b c c third stanza is head set today way me be dim him and the stanza is a a b b c c d d you can see the last letter of a words of the poem and you will understand how to do it okay next is find two lines that contain inversion inversion means we have to arrange the sentence into proper prose order so i have given two sentence and i have given the answer of it how to arrange it next set pick out one line each that contains the following figures of speech tautology means the same meaning words are children to a chasm deep and vast and wide vast and wide both have same meaning okay and personification means the non living being uh, character is given as a living being character okay so that line would be the chasm held no fear for him next interrogation interrogation in which the lines contain question mark and question is been asked so i have given the sentence next is alliteration alliteration means the alphabets is been repeated and build a bridge to span the tide your b alphabet is been repeated next is inversion inversion i just now explain the sentence should be in the proper prose order transfer epithet transfer epithet means transfer epithet means it involves shifting a modifier from animate to inanimate for example cheerful money okay from animate to inanimate these such sentences are called as transfer epithet so here i have given one as a transfer epithet example next is imagine that you are a fellow pilgrim and you wish to share your experience or incident in the poem write a short article about it from a magazine or journal also convey what changes it has brought to your life so here i have given a short article which you can follow or you can write it okay next is the poem's appreciation where you have to mention the poem and poet's name the theme you have to give structure and stanza tone languages figures of speech which all things you have to mention in it rhyming scheme likes and dislike then these all things you have to mention in poems appreciation and remember children appreciation is very necessary which comes in your exam for five marks okay do study it if you have any doubt do comment and ask me your queries and if you find my video informative please do like share and subscribe to my channel thank you children for watching my video Oh, 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 oh,